So we just had a couple of days holidays here in Holy Family. We went to the beach uh, down in Cork. Uh, absolutely beautiful surroundings, beautiful weather, um, strange accents from the locals. But uh, apart from that, really, really nice, wonderful, wonderful place to be and a great way to uh, begin to draw to a close our year. And it got me thinking about how people often approach holidays. So often when we think about holidays, uh, it's like, oh, this is the time when I get to relax, okay? But maybe amongst the younger generation, uh, we kind of push things a bit further. This is the time when I get to kind of be a slob. It's the kind of the time when I get to kind of sleep in all day, stay up all night. Or if we go out on holidays, if we go for uh, go abroad, you know, like the party islands, Yerevitas and Magalufs and all this kind of thing, this is the kind of time when we can really live freedom, we can be free, you know, no consequences, drink all you want, smoke all you want, and all these other things that we shouldn't be doing, all those kind of things as much as you want, and that's, that's freedom, that's what we should use holidays for, to squeeze as much pleasure out of life, and then you die. Uh, so, you know, uh, but like this is this is kind of the, 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 the often the idea when it comes to, to holidays, or to fun, or to freedom, Right, that freedom is about doing whatever you want and doing as much of it as you want for as long as you want with no consequences. And anything then that gets in the way of this is the opposite of freedom. So anything that gets in the way of this is the enemy. Right? So freedom in, in, in contemporary thought is, is often considered uh, just the right to do whatever you want. Now, uh, in practice, that sound, sounds great. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, I suppose, suppose freedom is. I, suppose. I should be allowed to do whatever I want, shouldn't I? We're free people, aren't we? We're all mature and adults. Um, so we should be able to do whatever we want, right? The problem is, in, in reality, if one lives that kind of freedom, right? So I want to be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want. What you actually have is, is selfishness, is, is anarchy, is craziness. Uh, is broken families, addiction, uh, regret, shame, uh, all sorts of uh, uh, memories that people have to carry with them then for their, for their lives of, things, of people they hurt. Why? Because they chose to do something that, that satisfied their needs, but completely uh, independent or with no respect to everyone else's needs. I was watching a documentary recently on a phenomenon known as the Autobahn. The Autobahn in Germany, right, is a motorway, right, with no speed limit. With no speed limit. And one would imagine that if you have a road where there's no speed limit, there must be absolute carnage. Italians going sideways down, you know, along in their Ferraris and stuff, and boy racers ripping up and down. Uh, but interestingly, on the autobahn in Germany, so that these are, there, it's, not the, it's not the whole, it's not all of the motorway has no speed limit, but much of it has no speed limit. Obviously, near, near junctions, near cities, uh, near uh, places where there are roadworks, there are enforced speed limits, and they're very good at enforcing speed limits. But where there, where those, where there are no speed limits, it's unlimited. So you can actually drive whatever speed you want. Uh, and I've been on it. And I, you know, I was driving an Audi A, A6, and... Um, so that was, that was interesting, because you, you, know, so you check your mirrors, check your mirrors, you'd indicate, out you go, and floor it. And, um, yeah, I think we, should, we got up to 170 or something, but, um, uh, yeah, and then, what's interesting, though, on the autobahn, firstly, is that not everyone drives fast, as in not everyone is driving like a maniac, no, no one, nobody drives like a maniac, so even, even those who are driving fast don't drive like maniacs, uh, and most people just drive the normal 120, 130, and then out you go and pick up, pick up granny for mass or whatever it is. Um, it's, it's, it's all, it's, it's very interesting. And it just, it just kind of, it kind of shows us if one approaches freedom with a mature mentality, it can actually be good and safe. <coughs> just because we have freedom doesn't mean it has to lead to absolute <coughs> chaos and carnage. They have fewer road accidents on the autobahn than most motorways and definitely uh, the documentary I saw was comparing it to the states and uh, so they have far fewer uh, accidents or fatal accidents on the autobahn in comparison to the interstate in the inner state in America so it's interesting just because we have freedom doesn't mean 
craziness and hurt and, and regret. Um, the, there's a great quotation from, from Fulton, uh, Archbishop Fulton Sheen, who says, freedom does not mean the right to do whatever we please, but rather, so it's not the right to do whatever we please, but rather to do whatever we ought. So in contemporary English, that's whatever we should. Right, so freedom doesn't mean the right to do whatever I want, but rather the right to do whatever I, I should. So what should I do? That leaves the question wide open there, really. What, what, what should I do? Well, I should do things that are good, not just for me, but for the common good. I should do what God wants. So I mean, I, as God's getting an education, should I get an education? Getting an education is definitely a good thing. You know, it's good for me to understand the world and to be able to uh, read and write and understand the world and provide for my family and get an education. These, these are all good things, so I should have the right to education. Okay, should I have the right to drive on whatever side of the road I want at whatever speed I want? Well, no, because that's going to endanger other people. So no, you do not have that right. So you should, have not, you should not have that freedom to, you know, today I'll drive on the right-hand side. <laughs> that's, that's going to end quickly. Um, so you know, that's, that's the, we shouldn't have absolutely every and any freedom, but we should have the freedom to do the things that are good, to do the things that we should. I should have the freedom to, to marry who I want, not necessarily in my case, your case, maybe a little more. Uh, my, my, my children should have the, 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 the freedom of movement, freedom to choose their jobs. They should have a, they have a right to, to fair pay. Also, employers have the, the right to... Uh, expect of their employees that they work, that they work hard, they turn up on time. So freedom isn't just like doing whatever I want, but it should be the ability to, to do whatever I should. And when we do that, then this, this freedom becomes a real gift. If freedom is just used for myself, my freedom actually becomes a curse because I can use my freedom to hurt people. I can use my freedom to become addicted. I can use my freedom to be entirely selfish, lazy, uh, superficial. Or I can use my freedom to, to build a beautiful world. I can use my freedom to, to sacrifice myself for love of others and show them what the faith is about and show them what the kingdom of God looks like when it's lived. I can use my freedom to, 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 to lift others up, to elevate others higher than myself. I can use my freedom to, to make a beautiful world. And so we ask the Lord today, and the gift of freedom that he gives us today, that we can use it not just for ourselves, but for those around us, that our freedom might be seen as a, a great gift and also a great responsibility. Because freedom does not mean the right to do whatever we please, but rather to do whatever we ought.